and, and it's quite beautiful actually if you think about the economic disruption that this closure caused now we've seen truckers come around the bend there and hopefully they can get back on track and make up for lost wages but most importantly the bridge can get back to doing what it does best and that's facilitate facilitating the transfer of some of the country's most important goods we understand this has had a significant impact both locally nationally and internationally it was supposed to be a short-lived demonstration and instead protesters blocked north america's busiest land border for nearly a week the impact reverberating through the economies of both countries and detouring thousands of trucks to the Blue Water Bridge. From the onset of the demonstration, our goal was to resolve this situation safely and peacefully. And Windsor Police Chief Pamela Mizuno says that's exactly what happened. On Friday, a judge granted an injunction which made it possible for police to clear out protesters. Mizuno says her officers arrested roughly 30 of them, seized five vehicles and towed seven others. There have been no incidents of violence, no injuries. And that is uh, something we're extremely proud of as a police service and extremely proud of as a community. While the bridge may be back open, the vaccine mandate is still in place. Protesters didn't get what they wanted. And while their blockade at the border was illegal, it may not be the last we see of them. We're going to have officers in the area who are going to continue to monitor the situation and we'll deal with any issues that arise as they come along. Well, I'm sure a lot of employees over at the Blue Water Bridge in Port Huron are very happy today. Uh, at one point when traffic was being redirected over there, it was backed up for about 15 miles and truckers were waiting five hours to get across the border. So good news all around. Live in Southwest Detroit, I'm Alex Bozargian, 7 Action News. Uh, yeah, a convenience for drivers and of course, so we can get that uh, economic impact, you know, uh, going again as well with the uh, flow of parts across the border. Thank you so much, Alex.